Hello, freshmen, multimedia students of the year 2022-2023. It's me, Mr. Cheney, with another brilliant tutorial. Actually, this one is a lecture. The tutorial will follow for the assignment that's attached to this. So welcome to the beginning of our photography and graphic design units. So we're going to start actually getting into uh, those genres and it starts with imaging other people's photography. So I'm going to go through this lecture, some of the things that we're going to need to know to do the first assignment, which is editing some of these uh, pictures that are on this website. So this website, um, gcflearnfree.org, is linked to the assignment so that you can come and see these uh, tutorials on your own, and the videos will be attached as well. So getting started with images, uh, I'm just going to go through this. Um, you... So I'll read verbatim uh, word for word where I need to and then just I'll fill in um, with some of my notes. So here we go, the introduction. Have you ever needed to edit an image on your computer but weren't quite sure how to get started? Perhaps you were asked to edit a picture for a company newsletter or blog. Maybe you just wanted to touch up some vacation photos. Uh, the truth is, almost any image can be improved with some slight editing, so the tools that we'll be going over today are just some of the basic ones that you can make any picture into a better picture. So, um, it seems complicated, but you don't need to be a professional uh, designer or photographer to do this, so getting proof of that is what this project that we're about to do is going to do for you. Uh, so look at these images down here, um, the original image right here and then we have the edited image and so there wasn't anything much that was done to this and it took less than five minutes to complete those changes so here's the basics um, have you ever thought about how image files actually work so the basics of them are this pixels you might have heard that word um, every digital photo is made up of pixels uh, the abbreviation is PX um, think of a pixel as a tiny square that uses a specific color so when you look at an image file on a computer you're going to see thousands and thousands of these pixels. Um, pixels are really small, so you n normally don't notice them, but if you zoom into a picture like this, you're going to see the pixels. It's the little squares right there. It's dimensions of a picture. So when you refer to the height and width of an image, you're talking about its dimensions. So for example, if an image is 500 pixels wide and 200 pixels high, you could say that its dimensions are 500 px by 200 px. So usually people say the width first. So here's some examples. Uh, this picture of a squirrel right here is 450 pixels wide and 300 pixels high, the height. Um, so the image is wider than it is tall, so that's a landscape orientation. Um, the image right here is uh, 300 pixels wide and 450 pixels tall or high. Um, since it's taller than it is wide, that's a portrait orientation. So you need to know that actually for quizzes that are coming up here soon. So landscape orientation is when the picture is wider than it is high, and portrait orientation is when the picture is taller than it is wide. Resolution is the amount of detail that you can see in an image. So the higher the resolution, the more quality the image will have. So resolution is especially important if you're thinking of printing or resizing an image. This is because you can generally make an image smaller without noticing much of a difference, but if you make an image larger, um, than the original, then it's very noticeable and there's a loss in quality. So in this example you can see a smaller version still looks sharp and clear if you go from large to big, but if you go from small to larger it gets what we call pixelated or blurry. And we see this all the time when you guys actually uh, save images from Google Images in the incorrect way. So I've, I've shown most of you how to do that correctly, but definitely through this unit we're going to know how to do that for sure. Uh, file formats, we don't want to go through this too much, but just know that there's different types um, and most files are compressed so that the file size can be smaller so it's easier to download. Um, lossy is when the compression type removes some information and it lowers the quality type. And then lossless is um, this com the compression type does not remove any information, but it typically does not reduce the file size. So. Um, it has everything to do with the quality levels of pictures um, depending on how you save it. So um, on this website we can kind of get an inf idea of what that looks like. So if we go lower quality like this you can start to see the pixels and if we start going up and doing higher quality the details of like the frosting and stuff get better. 
um, depending on the quality of the resolution that you do on the picture. Okay, so different file formats. You may have seen these or heard these, but we're going to actually define them for you here. So JPEG, people pronounce that JPEG. Um, it's commonly used for f uh, photography. Most digital cameras can save it in this format. JPEG is a lossy compression, so which means it provides reasonably high level of quality without a very large file size, so that's why most people use it for downloading purposes. PNG, or PNG, is a file type that's commonly used for graphics and illustrations. So, um, and that's because you can have something without a background so that you can layer it. Um, this is a lossless compression, so um, they get saved in a higher format with a higher image quality, so, so the file size is much larger. Um, there are other image types that we've come across, so GIF um, are the, like the moving pictures that we're familiar with, um, animated images that you know most of us use uh, throughout the day. Um, and then you have some file formats that come directly from a camera, like these fancy uh, DSLR cameras that are like raw images in BMP. Uh, so those are very, very, very high quality images that you would put into Photoshop and actually uh, have a lot more control over what you can do with it. Some basic ways of editing uh, photography we have we already have on our computers so Windows uh, with Microsoft Paint and Microsoft Photos gives us some very basic ways of doing some photography uh, manipulation um, our, all of our phones have so many apps that I can't even cover them but um, you can check those out on your own um, the one that we'll be using uh, under the third-party software section we're going to be using Pixlr which is a website that is really really f similar to Photoshop but free and uh, we're gonna be able to use that quite a bit um, in the next few weeks um, quick note Microsoft Office so PowerPoint and Word and those things there's a lot of editing features for pictures there too in fact it's more than most people realize so we'll probably go over that um, in PowerPoint as well um, Photoshop hopefully will get to that point um, at the end of the year but we do all have a license for Photoshop and those can run on our computers quite effectively. Um, GIMP we won't go over, Pixlr I just talked about so that'll be in the next uh, tutorial when we actually start uh, manipulating some of these uh, photos. Uh, moving on to the next part. So this is the crux. This is where uh, we're going to actually start working with uh, the pictures. So these pictures right here are the ones that are going to be your first project. The three tools that we're going to use with these are going to be cropping, resizing, and rotating. These are basic image adjustments for any picture that you take or pictures that you take from the internet to make them look better. So what is cropping? If you want to remove parts of an image, you can crop it. You can think of cropping as using a pair of scissors to cut out the parts you no longer want. So most of us are familiar with that. Um, and if you haven't done any cropping, you're going to be doing quite a bit of it in these next two sections, photography and graphic design. Uh, the next basic image adjustment that we'll do with um, two of these six pictures, since we have three tools, we'll do it to two of the six, is resizing. So if you want to make an image smaller or larger, you can resize it. However, keep in mind that making an image larger than its original size generally does not make the image look good. So that goes back to that pixelation or making it look blurry unless it's a picture that's already started out large. The last tool we'll use is rotating. So if you can, if you want to change the orientation of an image, like tilt it, something like that, rotate it to the left or right, that's a tool that we're also going to use. So. Um, these are the pictures that we're actually going to use um, to do our assignment and that will be in a separate uh, video that I will make for the assignment itself. Um, but basically we're going to be using Pixlr uh, to manipulate these photos and here are some tips for just making sure that those photos look good. So you're keeping the originals, um, we're checking the zoom level, make sure that they're at their full size when we're doing the work on them. Um, higher resolution means more detail, so when we actually go search for images on Google Images, you can change the size to large or medium so that you can get those higher resolution pictures so that you don't have to worry about pixelation too much. Um, and then trying out different adjustments just on pictures in general um, is going to be a good thing. Um, 
So the details of how to do this in Pixlr will be in the next tutorial video, but I just want to give you an idea of what we're doing. So the original image of this butterfly, this is the cropped version because we have cropped just this section out to get some of the unnecessary like sand and rocks out of there. Uh, here's another example of cropping the interesting part of a picture or just um, the part that you want to use. Uh, original image versus cropped. Um, and then we're talking about the resizing of images so that um, we can get uh, the quality that we're looking for. So we'll go over that in Pixlr as well. Um, and then lastly, rotating images. So in this case, it's an image that was taken sideways that we just want to adjust um, vertically. Uh, but in a lot of cases, it's just making a different orientation. So uh, I will show all of that in the next um, video. But for now, that's our lecture on the introduction to photography. And let's get into the project itself.